नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स आई एम जेबिन डॉक्टर अजीज मोहम्मद खान फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फूड एंड बायोटेक्नोलॉजी फैकल्टी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड वेटर साइंस ज्योति विद्यापीठ होम इन सिंगसरी जयपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक प्री ट्रीटमेंट स्टडीज इन व्हिच सम प्री ट्रीटमेंट स्टडीज इन डिस्कस एंड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो आई डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द प्री ट्रीटमेंट स्टडीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टेक्निक्स व्हिच आई यूज इन द pre treatment studies so first technique is the centrifugation so in this video i am going to discuss about the centrifugation as a pre treatment studies so centrifugation is used to separate particles of the 100 to 0.1 micrometer from the liquid by gravitational force it depends on the particle size density difference between the cells and the load and both viscosity if means and the centrifugation is completely dependent on the size size of the cells means the size large size will settle down and when the small size will be in the supernatant the density the more dense compounds will be separated in the bottom is pellet in the less dense compound cells and the products will be Uh, in the supernatant and it also based on the difference between the size and the growth and the viscosity the viscous compounds will settle down and the less viscous compound will be remain in the uh, supernatant so use of so centrifugal force in centrifugation method is used for the separation of the different mixtures and more dense uh, components will migrate away from the axis of the centrifuge and less dense will migrate towards the axis of the means they will be on the upper part and when the more dense compounds will leave in the bottom so they will be separated easily they are some methods such as the slurry heat in which we incorporate only some liquid molecule the mixture of the liquid and the uh, solid material uh, which will allow the solid and liquid molecules to separate we can also use some different techniques where we can utilize some centrifugation force for which we can use the liquid molecules liquid chambers for the separation of the liquid and we can also use some uh, solid chambers for the separation of the solids so these chambers can be used uh, similarly for the liquid liquid separation we can use heavy liquid sections for the separation between the liquids and we can also use the light liquid sections for the separation of the light liquid there are some types of the centrifuge which uh, need to be discussed here the first type is tubular centrifuge that is tubular centrifuge in tubular centrifuge the bowl is stored the bowl is stored and the has a narrow diameter there are some tubes which have tall tubes and have a narrow diameter such centrifuges are known as the super centrifuges which develop a force about 13000 times of force of gravity means they are very super in the speed the super nature is due to their high speed some narrow or uh, centrifuge having is diameter of 75 mm and a very high speed of also they are known as the ultra centrifuge these centrifuges are often used to separate liquid liquid emulsions so on the basis of uh, diameter and on the basis of the gravitational force they are known as the super and ultra centrifuges and ultra centrifuges are used for the separation of the liquid liquid emulsions next is the disc ball centrifuges so disc ball centrifuges also a type with which disc are is another 
the feed enters that soil compartment at the bottom and travels apart through vertical space three holes. Uh, filling the spaces between the disc, the holes divide the vertical assembly into the inner section where mostly the light liquid is present and the outer section where mainly heavy liquid is present. The heavy liquid flows beneath the underside of the disc and to the periphery of the so in this type of uh, this constant centrifuge, the liquid will flow in the periphery of the bowl, at the periphery of the bowl, and it will be separated. And the holes divide the vertical assembly into the inner section and the outer section. In, in the inner section, light liquid is present, and in the outer section, in the heavy liquid is present. I discussed it starting the starting that two types of the uh, centrifuge which we can use uh, which we can use for the separation of li uh, liquid and uh, light liquid and the heavy liquid inputs so the disco centrifuge are used for the separation of the liquid heavy liquid and the light liquid inputs the light liquid flows up over the upper side of the disc and the towards the needle and any small amount of the heavy uh, solid is thrown out the wall and uh, periodic cleaning is required to remove solid deposited so because if the solid will be deposited in the centrifuge then it is very hard to separate the, between the heavy liquid molecules because some of the heavy liquid molecules may have some heavy parts it may be required and uh, if they are required then the impurities which are already present in the tubes may disturb it so these uh, must be cleaned at a regular basis and this whole centrifuge are used in the starts gluten separation and its concentration of trouble latex and also they are used for the separation of the cream. So these are also important type of centrifuge. Next is the decanter centrifuge. In the decanter centrifuge, only sedimentation centrifuge are designed to handle more solid concentration in the heat suspension. Means the they are used to handle more solid concentration, not for the liquid in the liquid only. These are for the solid separation of the solid concentration. They are also used to obtain a good degree of the clarification of the liquid con concentration also. Uh, it consists of a horizontal uh, cylindrical wall um, which are rotating at a high speed with a helical extraction screw. So two various very uh, origin various version of these decant centrifuges can be found. Next is the multi-chamber centrifuge. The multi-chamber centrifuge are the modification of the tubular bowl centrifuge and they consist of several chambers which allow zigzag movement of the heat. Uh, if the we talk about the tubular centrifuge if these tubular centrifuges are made in various chambers, then it will be called with the multi-chamber centrifuge. So how the molecules are separated in the multi-chamber centrifuge? The product are separated in the zigzag movement by the zigzag movement of the heat. So uh, I must share some screen here so that uh, the diagram can be explained here. This is the diagram of the tubular centrifuge where tubes, the sample is inoculated in the form of the tube. Here, heavy sections are uh, taken out and uh, here, light sections are taken out. This is the motor which will allow the motor large, with a large speed. 
which will allow the molecules to sediment at high speed and the gravitational force is very high here. This is the light layer where the molecules of the light particles are separated and this is the bowl where the molecule of the field is there. The product is shared here. So this field, from this field, this flow, uh, this uh, product will flow here and at high speed they will uh, be separated from the heavy section and the light section. This is the diagram. It is a diagram of uh, disc balls and diffuse. Here, uh, the, uh, there are various discs are present in this manner. One disc, two disc, three disc, four disc, five disc. So they are present in various disc. Here, the molecule of heavy liquid and the light molecules are also inserted inside it. There are some holes inside it, which will allow the uh, heavy and the uh, light liquid to be separated easily using these discs. This is the decant, uh, decant of and this is a modified with, uh, Person, and uh, it is used for the separation of the solid particles where they will uh, rotate at a high speed. So these all are about the uh, centrifugism. So in this lecture, I will discuss about the centrifugism and the various kinds of centrifugism which, which are used in the pretreatment studies which include the disc centrifuge, disc ball centrifuge, tubular centrifuge, multi-chamber uh, multi centrifuge and decanter centrifuge. Yeah. These centrifuges are used for the separation of the liquid and solid part particles of various sizes. What kind of questions can be asked here? The students can be asked that uh, explain the role of the centrifuge in pre-treatment studies. And it can also be asked that uh, what are the different types of centrifuges which can be used in separation of particles in the downstream processing. So I hope students will better answer all these questions. So my lecture is over here. Thank you very much.